What's up, Internet? My name is Michael Cook, and this is Blue Giant Media. We're here to help you find, learn, and play the games that you love. Today, we've got Railroad Inc. by Halmar Hawk and Lorenzo Silva. This is published by Horrible Games, and it is also a subsidiary of Cool Mini or Not. We're going to open up the game, we're going to take a look at the artwork, the components, what you get for your money, and generally just what's inside the box. <laughs> They can be combined so that instead of playing just 2 to 6 or 2 to 6, you can now play 2 to 12. And you can play it solo as well. It's pretty fun. It's got a nice magnetic clasp, beautiful artwork, just very pleasant to look at. Each one is going to have a rule book that explains the basic rules of both games. And then each game comes with two expansions that you can mix in. And here at the back, this is for the rivers and the lakes. So it comes with six of these player boards, which also have very nice artwork, very pleasant, very relaxing, and come with six markers. Let's see, I know. I'm usually leery when a game comes with dry erase markers, games like Telestrations where they uh, where they run out very quickly, they just don't work. So let's see what we have here. The only time will tell how high quality this is and how much it has to be, or how frequently it has to be replaced, but it does say Railroad Ink on there. So part of me certainly hopes that it will last a very long time, but I'm not optimistic just because they usually don't in these kinds of games, or just really any game that comes with a dry erase marker. Then it comes with... Each game is going to have these same four basic dice. So here we've got the same thing. It's going to go through the basic rules much the same way, just with different colors. Then we have in the back the expansion dice for expansion rules. And we have same deal, same markers. dice. So as you in the game you're going to be rolling these dice and the roots that appear must be drawn onto your board. You'll start on one of these spaces so everything that you draw has to either be connected directly to one of the end spaces or something that's already been drawn. You can't just start drawing in the middle of the board. And you'll just draw all of these and at the end of the game you'll score with points in various different ways. And you've got expansion dice from the Blazing Red Edition and the expansion dice from the Cool Cool Edition. Okay. I'll have to take a look and see if there's any way to combine both of these into one. <coughs> but I get the feeling that it won't all fit in one. If I remove this, for instance, I get the feeling that just taking all of these player boards alone will pretty much fill. Yeah. So there's not going to be any way to put everything in one and carry it around. If you want to bring enough to play 12 players at like a party, you're going to have to bring both of these or have some other storage solution. So 
dice are nicely made, the art is great, the magnetic clasp box is convenient, and it works well, it holds everything in there. You don't have to worry about everything falling out. That's Railroad Inc. And that's what's inside the box of Railroad Inc., the Deep Blue Edition and the Blazing Red Edition by Helmar Hawk and Lorenzo Silva, published by Horrible Games. If you have any other questions about Railroad Inc., maybe you want to see a setup, playthrough, or a review for Railroad Inc., keep an eye out for links in the description section below. While you're there, you'll also find a link to macronovagames.com where you can buy Railroad Inc. and a whole bunch of other great games. Until next time, I want to thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like what you see, and please let me know if there's any other videos you want me to make. And as always, please have a wonderful day.